I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert. In this video, I'm going to share with you sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone in men and women and how they affect your brain, including how they are critical in making your nootropic stack work. Estrogen and testosterone play a role in mood, cognitive function, anxiety and stress, pain management, avoiding dementia, Alzheimer's, or stroke. Men, do you know what your total testosterone and free testosterone levels are? And women, do you know your current estrogen and testosterone levels? When is the last time you asked your doctor to run your sex hormone labs? I've had personal consultations with dozens and dozens of men and women around the world some in their late teens and early 20s. I've also consulted with dozens and dozens of pre- and post-menopausal women around the world. And many do not understand why others have successfully developed nootropic stacks at work, but not for them. For issues including better learning and memory, improved energy levels, ADD and ADHD, OCD, energy, anxiety, social anxiety, depression and aging, what you may not realize is that you will not enjoy the full benefit of your personal nootropic stack if your testosterone and estrogen levels are not optimal. Estrogen affects serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, and acetylcholine systems in your brain, all of which play a role in mood, cognitive function, anxiety and stress, pain management, avoiding dementia, Alzheimer's, or stroke. Estrogen also plays a role in brain cell signaling, spinal cord synaptic plasticity, and dendrite density, and is involved in the formation of new dendritic spines and excitatory synapses in the hippocampus and cortex for better learning and memory. A recent randomized controlled trial showed estrogen replacement therapy improved verbal memory and executive control in athletes. Testosterone plays a role in brain structure and cognitive function. Testosterone receptors in your hippocampus and prefrontal cortex are involved in higher cognitive function. One animal study showed that surgical removal of either testicle decreased acetylcholine levels in the hippocampus and interior cerebral cortex, and declines in dopamine in the cingulate cortex. Acetylcholine and dopamine are critical for learning and memory. Testosterone also modulates serotonin, which affects mood. You have testosterone and estrogen receptors throughout your brain, which respond to steroid hormones synthesized from cholesterol within your brain. Testosterone is the major male sex hormone. It belongs to a class of male hormones called androgens, which are also known as steroids or neurosteroids in the brain. Testosterone is produced mainly in Leydig cells in your testes in men and your adrenal glands. The synthesis of testosterone also occurs in your brain. Testosterone is controlled by GnRH, produced by your hypothalamus, which stimulates your pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone. In Leydig cells, LH stimulates the production of pregnenolone, which is then converted DHA. DHEA rapidly converts to testosterone, some of which is then converted to DHT. Testosterone also is synthesized by various enzymes and neurons and glial cells in your brain. Certain target tissues, including your breasts, produce aromatase, which synthesizes estradiol from testosterone. Your brain also produces aromatase, which creates estradiol from testosterone, influencing libido and your desire for sex. Estradiol is also involved in the regulation of neurogenesis, brain cell signaling, and neuroplasticity, supporting healthy cognition, mood, and neuroprotection. Testosterone is also critical for women's health and cognition. Testosterone is produced in your ovaries by thacal internal cells in response to luteinizing hormone. Testosterone then converts to estrogen. 
Even though men produce seven to eight times more testosterone, women also require it for healthy menstruation, sexual desire, red blood cell production, and bone and tissue mass. In women, the production of estrogen starts with the synthesis of pregnenolone from cholesterol and fecal cells in your ovaries. Pregnenolone is then converted to progesterone, which is then converted to testosterone through aromatase, which produces estradiol. A small amount of estrogen is also released by your adrenal glands and fat cells. In your brain, estradiol is produced from cholesterol in neurons and astrocytes and follows a similar pattern to synthesis as in your ovaries. Testosterone and estrogen levels in men and women decline with age. Testosterone levels in men decline by 0.4 to 2% each year. In women, it's a rapid drop in estrogen during menopause. Menstruation, pregnancy, and breastfeeding can also result in fluctuations in hormone production. An increasing number of young men have been diagnosed with low testosterone levels, caused by obesity, the loose use of pain medications including ibuprofen and acetaminophen, and exposure to environmental toxins like herbicides, pesticides, heavy metals and plastics, and COVID-19. The physical symptoms of low testosterone levels in men include reduced body and facial hair, the loss of muscle mass, low libido, impotence, small testicles, reduced sperm count and infertility, hot flashes, irritability, poor concentration, and depression. In women, low levels of either estrogen or testosterone re results in low libido, less desire for sex, reduced bone strength, poor concentration, depression, weight gain, and fatigue. The cognitive symptoms of low testosterone in men and women include decreased sense of well-being, depressed mood, difficulty, difficulty in concentration and memory, fatigue, moodiness and irritability and sleep problems. The cognitive symptoms of low estrogen in women can include Trouble with concentration, moodiness and irritability, headaches before, during, and, and during your, your period, and fatigue. I have several clinical studies showing how neurosteroids or sex hormones in your brain can benefit brain function, cognition, and mood in my transcript for this video over on Nootropics Expert. You'll find a link to this article below this video. I have a clinical studies showing how estrogen can be used for treating schizophrenia. I have a study demonstrating how progesterone can be used for brain repair. Several studies have shown that progesterone, estrogens, and testosterone provide protection against various brain injuries. Another study showing how estradiol can be used for treating multiple sclerosis, or MS. You'll also find a clinical study showing how progesterone reduces the effectiveness of ADHD meds. Women with ADHD often find ADHD stimulant meds are not as effective during the last two weeks of their menstrual cycle. Another clinical study done at the University of Washington showed how testosterone injections in elderly men improved cognition and memory. And you'll also find a meta-analysis of 469 studies published in 2018 that concluded testosterone replacement therapy was, in a, was effective in reducing depression in men. All of these studies can be found in my article for this video over on Nootropics Expert. You'll find a link to that article below this video. The reference range or normal values in a sex hormone lab test are typical of someone who is not receiving hormone therapy. But you may not be typical. You may find that even though your labs are within range, if you are still experiencing symptoms, I encourage you to keep on investigating. Ask for another set of labs. And if they're the same as the first, consider nootropic herbs to optimize your hormone levels until you feel better or consider hormone replacement therapy. I cannot emphasize this enough. Learn how to read your own labs, men and women. Know what your numbers mean. You'll find the full chart of reference ranges in my article over on Nootropics Expert. 
Vitamin D3, 5,000 to 10,000 IU per day. Studies show a relationship between vitamin D levels and sperm volume, sperm count, and motility. Vitamin D also seems to be involved in testosterone production. A study with 165 men aged 20 to 49 years were divided into two groups. Group 1 received 3,332 IU of vitamin D daily for a year and group 2 a placebo. Total testosterone levels in group 1 increased by about 25% after supplementing with vitamin D but testosterone levels in the placebo group remained unchanged. Zinc, 25 to 50 milligrams per day. A study with 37 patients diagnosed with infertility for five years supplemented with zinc. The researchers found that zinc supplementation significantly boosted testosterone and DHT levels. Ashwagandha, 250 to 500 milligrams per day. One study tested the effects of ashwagandha extract, KSM 66, 225 milligrams three times per day for 12 weeks in infertile men. The study showed a 17% increase in testosterone levels and a 167% increase in sperm count. Black seed oil, 2 grams per day. One study with 55 infertile men aged 18 to 40 years were divided into two groups. One group supplementing with 2 grams of black seed oil per day for three months. The group of men using black seed oil had a 46.83% increase in sperm count, motility, and viability, as well as a 47.46% increase in FSH, and a 32.75% increase in LH, and testosterone increased by 29.35%. Ginger extract. The dosage was not disclosed in this study, but a study with 75 infertile men who supplemented with ginger extract for 30 weeks resulted in a 17.7% increase in testosterone luteinizing hormone by 43.2%, and follicle-stimulating hormone by 17.6%. Fenugreek, 500 milligrams per day. 50 men aged 35 to 65 years supplemented with 500 milligrams of fenugreek for 12 weeks. The result was a 46% increase in free testosterone in the majority of volunteers, including improved mental alertness and mood. Makuna periens, or L-DOPA, a study conducted in India recruited 150 infertile men aged 25 to 40 years. 75 men supplemented with 5 grams of Makuna Purians daily for 3 months. The men showed a 41% improvement in sperm count and motility, and testosterone increased by 27%. DHEA, 25 to 50 milligrams per day. Naturally synthesized in your testicles, adrenal glands, and your brain. DHEA is a precursor to the synthesis of testosterone and DHT and can activate both, both androgen and estrogen receptors. A meta-analysis of 42 publications demonstrated that DHEA supplementation significantly increased testosterone levels in men and was even more effective in women. The dosage of greater than 50 mg per day for 12 weeks was more effective than dosages below 50 mg per day. Testolab Pro, it's made by the sister company to MindLab Pro and Performance Lab, can increase testosterone levels especially when combined with strength training and cardiovascular exercise. Testolab Pro contains ashwagandha extract, KSM99, 600 milligrams, diaspartic acid, calcium chelate, 600 milligrams, macuna periens, 15% L-DOPA extract, 300 milligrams, luteolin from orange extract, 60 milligrams, and neurogenesis vitamin D, 50 micrograms, vitamin K1 and K2, magnesium, zinc, and boron. Postmenopausal women with low levels of circulating estrogen can experience brain fog and poor cognition, obesity, metabolic syndrome, cancer, excessive menstrual cramps, pain during intercourse, abnormal and heavy menstrual flow, or polycystic ovary syndrome. But recent studies have shown supporting your microbiome can help prevent many of these estrogen-modulating diseases. 
Your microbiome impacts estrogen levels through the secretion of a particular enzyme which deconjugates estrogen, allowing free estrogen to bind to its receptors and preventing many estrogen-mediated diseases. Uh, a prebiotic. I like the Performance Lab prebiotic, three grams twice per day. The inulin and fructooligosaccharides in this prebiotic is fermented in your gut, producing sh short-chain fatty acids, including acetate, propionate, and butyrate. The short-chain fatty acids, including butyrate, produced by this prebiotic, supports the integrity of the epithelial barrier in your gut, supporting microbiome homeostasis, a healthy gut, and estrogen metabolism. Soy isoflavone phytoestrogens. Supplementing with phytoestrogen isoflavones extracted from soybeans modulates estrogen metabolism and has been shown to induce tumor cell apoptosis or cell death and may reduce the risks of breast cancer, heart disease, osteoporosis, and obesity. Luteolin, 60 milligrams per day. In men, luteolin helps regulate aromatase and preventing testosterone from converting to estrogen and its unwanted side effects, including man boobs and hair loss. You may find that natural nootropic supplements alone cannot raise your testosterone or estrogen to healthy levels. Levels to where you feel good, perform like you want, and you're generally in a good mood and not snapping at everyone. And your energy levels support the lifestyle you deserve, and memory is not an issue. You cannot rely on lab tests alone. If your numbers are within the bell curve of normal, quote unquote, and you still feel horrible, it's up to you to find a medical professional willing to work with you and get your sex hormone levels optimal. Hormone replacement therapy may be your best option, and it's not just for men. As a woman, you deserve to feel great too. Do a search for hormone replacement near me and see who turns up. Then read the user reviews before you make a call. Your hormones, including testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone, play a critical role in not only physical performance, but in optimal brain health and cognition as well. You can put together the best nootropic stack on the planet tailored for your specific issues, but you will not get the, its full benefit if your hormones are not optimized. Supporting healthy sex hormone levels that are optimized for you can make the difference between living the life you dream of or continuing to struggle. Your age should not determine how you want to feel and perform. This goes for you too if you're in your 20s or 30s. Depleted sex hormones can happen at any age. Try natural nootropic supplements like Testolab Pro or individual supplements like I mentioned earlier in this video to increase your hormone levels. But if that's not enough, consider hormone replacement therapy and start living life on your terms. You deserve to feel great every single day. So that's my report on sex hormones in your brain. If you've got any questions, please use the comment section below this video or at the bottom of my sex hormones in the brain article over on Nootropics Expert. And don't forget to download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly a hundred pages and contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. There's a link below this video for it. And consider getting a copy of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First is nearly 600 pages in the best guide on the planet for fixing and optimizing your brain. I also do personal consultations. If you could use some help, you'll find a link to my calendar below. And make sure you subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Neutropics Expert.